Hey geeks, geekettes, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at Panda Cloud Cleaner. This is a standalone utility from Panda to get rid of viruses, malware, trojans, rootkits. It's technically a lot of these standalone utilities I recommend for more advanced users or techs. It's pretty friendly, it's pretty easy to use, but sometimes you need to know what you're removing. Since I'm not infected on this machine, it's gonna be a little difficult for me to show you that, but we can show you how it works. You have your basic accept and scam, which if you don't really wanna screw around too much, you wanna start here. Just do the analyze all PC. Otherwise, you can consider some of your options, which is a trusted boot scan. In other words, this is going to go in and scan your computer where it normally should not. In other words, it's probably looking for a root kit, and it's probably inside of your partition of your drive that you normally don't see. Once again, it's not something I recommend people who don't know what they're doing play around with, just in case you could render your machine unbootable if you make a mistake. Another nice thing about Panda Cloud Cleaner, uh, typically you're going to run these things from safe mode to do that. Reboot your computer, hold or tap the F8 key before the Windows splash screen. Choose safe mode or safe mode with networking if you need to update something and that will get you into safe mode. But if you're not in safe mode or you can't get to safe mode, you have a couple options here. The send files to Panda, obviously, uh, to help them. Unlock files. If you click that, you can go to one of the drives, find a particular file, for example, and unlock it. This is great if you have a a virus or a piece of malware that is a locked file that you can't remove because it's locked. Another neat little thing in the advanced tools is the kill all processes. Uh, if there's no warning, you just click it and go. And once you're done, it'll automatically rerun Panda. It kills most of your processes. If you're gonna run this, that might be nice to do just to, to speed up the machine, get rid of some processes that could be in the way and simply go to scan. If you have any problems, you can also go here to the Panda page. This has a nice little tutorial on how to use it here as well and what you could possibly clean, not clean, and explains this trusted boot scan a little bit better. So if you're not sure, don't be afraid to click the help file. There's nothing wrong with that. So basically all you gotta do now is just click your accept and scan and then you simply wait. The one thing with Panda Cloud Cleaner is instead of just viruses and malware, it's been my experience, it also finds um, extra files that you can delete, stuff like that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, if it's not a specific virus or malware, you may not want to mess around with just deleting it. However, if you think you are infected and sometimes getting rid of temporary internet files, etc., can be helpful because things can hide in there. So I'm going to let this run for a second and then I'm going to hit the little pause button as always and I will check right back. And real briefly, no big deal, decided I had a problem with my internet connection. I don't know why. You saw me just load a web page. I hadn't seen that error before, and I've run this quite a few times. But just to give you a look at what it looks like when it's scanning, is nothing exciting. Not too much going on, but just so you can kind of see it. And, of course, if possible, they would like you to buy Panda and put that on your machine. Nothing wrong with that. And once again, this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to click pause again. And we're back. Since people like to ask me all the time, how long did that take to scan? Not long. It's a clean install of Windows as always. It is a 10 minute scan, maybe a little bit more overall. But for you, that means you can figure you're never going to get it done in 10 minutes. You can count on half an hour, an hour. Um, but again, I can't answer that. It depends on how infected you are. If you're infected, whether you're in safe mode, how many files are on your computer, etc. Anyway, once you're done here, as you can see, the no-no malware will show up. You can clean everything with just clicking, and you can also come in here and take a look and see what it thinks it found. Now, this is why I want you to be careful. As you can see, I am on a clean install. It wants to remove some registry entries. I don't know what they are. I'm not going to look too far into it right now. And it wants to clean temporary internet files, which at that point it might as well clear the history and everything else while it's at it, of whatever browsers you have installed. It did not pick up that I have Firefox, but no big deal. So you can click that. And once again, broken links, temporary internet files. I don't see much difference here between the two of them, but unknown files, system cleaning. So all you have to do is hit clean at this point. And again, assuming you know what you're doing, if you don't get somebody to give you a hand and it keeps freezing up on the checking connection as we mentioned before so give this a second and there you go so it cleaned up it has a toll-free number i've checked into it it's a legitimate line if you're in trouble and you need it um you don't have anybody who can help you 
uh, this is not a scam it is panda it is a trusted company so if you're in if you're in trouble that's one way out so and from there you basically hit exit and you are done so once again I just want to make sure uh, we're in the business of mostly file downloads and we like you to download stuff but we don't want you to download something you don't need or could get you in trouble so save this for when you have difficulty most text will carry this on a thumb drive most knowledgeable text will carry something like this they'll carry dozens if not a hundred of these different types of apps so uh, if you don't know what you're doing get help and if you do now you have a general idea how it works thank you so much for watching see you next time